Hello, everybody, and welcome to Theater Thursday. My name is Trevin, and I am thrilled to be with you today. If you've had a chance to see some of our other Theater Thursday videos, you may have seen me talking about production elements. The production elements are the pieces of art that come together to make theater magic. Today, we're going to talk a bit more in depth about one of those production elements. But instead of telling you, I'm going to give you some clues. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Take a deep breath. Okay, great. Now breathe normal. So I can hear your heart. Great. That was clue number one. This is clue number two. Be da boo da dee dee boo ba da da. That is clue number three. What do these three clues have in common? Sound. That's right. Today we are going to explore the stories we can make with sound. In the theater, we call this sound design. How many of you are out there in a, in a place where adults may be trying to work and they may be telling you, shh, be quiet. There are a lot of times it is important to be quiet, especially when an adult asks us to, and it's important that we listen. And there will be some listening today, but, there's also going to be a lot of making noise. How does that sound? <laughs> Great, let's get started. Sound is very important in everyday life. Like the clues I gave earlier, the stethoscope is a tool the doctor uses to keep us healthy. The bell, big or little ones, can get someone's attention when we need them. And singing is used in many, many ways to entertain, inspire, and share deep emotions. Many of you have sound, seen sound used visually in cartoons and comics. These words behind me are representations of sounds you might hear your favorite cartoon characters make and are drawn to help understand exactly what that sound is meant to make us feel. These types of sounds are often called sound effects. But how are they made? The sound designer in the theater works closely with the director to help tell the story of the play or musical. Sound effects can be found by searching on the internet. What should I search for right now? How about a race car? Or a cow? Or a cartoon laugh? There are lots of sound effects that can be found online, but there are also the ways to make some right at home. Maybe you have some instruments at home, like this drum. Or a tambourine. Great sounds are, are made by many types of instruments, but there are also a way to make sounds with everyday objects, like this. Listen closely. Sounds like footsteps, right? I just put a pair of shoes on my hands and made them walk on the table. You can pause the video right now if you would like and go look around where you are for things that make great sounds. I'm going to see what else I can find. See you soon. If you paused, what did you find? I found this wood block and this frog keychain. These two items were made to make sound, 
But what about things like this pizza pan? Great sound. This can of sparkling water. Another great sound. And delicious. <laughs> the person that makes sound out of ordinary objects for use in the theater, TV, or film is called a Foley artist. F-O-L-E-Y. This person has something to record the sound on, like a phone or a recording device, and then they provide the sound to the theater, television, or film to help tell the story. When a series of sound effects are played together, sometimes this is called a soundscape. Let's listen to one I made for you now. What story was that soundscape telling? Maybe a little outer space? Ending with some laughter. Hmm. Besides sound effects, there are also music. What is some of your favorite music? Music can be used as underscoring. This is when the story is being told as I am right now. And there is music underneath it to make the listener feel a certain way. How did that underscoring make you feel? What if we took a famous nursery rhyme, like Mary Had a Little Lamb? Here are a couple more examples of underscoring. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. Everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. Everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Those were two different examples of underscoring that made the same story, or nursery rhyme, feel very different for you, the listener. Want to give it a try? Find some music. It's best if it's music without words and ask an adult if they will record you saying your favorite nursery rhyme or story with the music playing in the background. You want to make sure the music isn't too loud so the story can be heard. <laughs> give it a try. I hope you had fun playing with sound and the stories we can tell with sound. Listen closely to the sounds around you when you are outside, <laughs> at night, or when it's raining. There are so many magnificent sounds around us every day. And sometimes we do have to be quiet so we can hear what our world sounds like. Go listen and share the wonderful sounds you hear. I'm going to close with two of my very favorite sounds. <laughs> Thanks for coming, and see you next week for Theater Thursday.